currently Wednesday so a little bit of a late start for the weekly vlog and this week has been a little strange so I got my little coffee and I figured I'd sit down and have a little chat so basically on Monday my boss wasn't feeling very well and then Monday night he texted my coworker and I that he tested positive for COVID so I feel fine but I have to quarantine for five days so day one started Tuesday, which was yesterday. So today is day two. So I won't be back in the office until in disguise. But anyway, I wanted to use this week to get caught up on rest and sleep. And then also make some progress on my little room reno project. While I have the time, I'm going to try and move out all of the furniture that I know I'm not going to keep. And rearrange things to get things ready for when my mattress does come in. And then I also just want to get everything cleaned. I need to clean my bathroom and vacuum and dust and that kind of stuff. I'm just going to try to get as much done as I reasonably can each day. So that's pretty much the plan for this week. But before I go, I also wanted to show you a book that I've been reading that has been actually really helpful with just like my mindset surrounding work and helping me not get burnt out even when I need to be working. It's called Live the Let Go Life. And it's by Joseph Prince, who's a pastor from Singapore, and everything I've ever heard from him or read from him has been really good. For me, it really is mostly like just bringing peace to my mind, reassuring me that everything's going to be okay. So if you need some content like that, I'd highly recommend honestly anything of his. This is the first book that I've actually sat down and read, but I've listened to a lot of his sermons. So if you needed a little recommendation, I highly recommend Okay, so I started my laundry and then my sister and I went on a little walk. So I haven't actually made too much progress yet, but I also did order my mom's birthday and Mother's Day presents. And I think I'm going to focus on my room now, getting it cleaned up. And then I'm also going to put some of my giveaway stuff in boxes and start getting some of that out of here. I'm mostly going to focus on like clothes and closet stuff and the stuff in my drawers to kind of consolidate everything for when new furniture gets here. Big box. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I went through all of the clothes in my closet. Now I'm gonna do my dresser drawer and then I'm gonna move on to my storage boxes, which are the most intimidating part. So.
Okay, so this is the progress so far. I repacked up anything that I do want to keep as far as home decor, and this is the little giveaway basket. Friday and I took yesterday as a little bit of just a rest day. I just got caught up on computer work But I just finished getting ready for today But I took a COVID test yesterday and it came back negative So I'm pretty much okay to leave my house I just can't come into work because it's like a company policy just for liability reasons They don't want me coming in knowing that someone in the office had COVID, but I think I am gonna try to get out today I'm gonna try to go to Goodwill. I want to pick up some new t-shirts to work out in and then just some sweatshirts because I only have a few right now and I'm going to try to grab some lunch but I'm taking you along with me. I just got to Goodwill and it is 110 and normally when I go in there I'm really indecisive and I take forever and I look at every little thing so I'm going to make a goal to be out of there by two o'clock. I just got back from Goodwill and I'm going to do a little haul of all the things that I got. So the angle is making all of these look really weird because they just look short and stubby. But I promise you this looks really cute in person. It's just like a little waffle knit t-shirt that I got in the men's section. And it's really cute. I thought like to wear leggings and bike shorts and just around the house and stuff. It's definitely really comfy so a keeper. Okay so then I got this oversized men's button up. And it's super cute. It's like the perfect little length and then I can like button the sleeves and roll them up or do whatever I need to do. I think it's really cute. Like even with bike shorts and the sports bra, I feel like that would be cute. And then even like just with this outfit. So definitely a keeper too. And then the other little casual thing I got was just this little tan hoodie. So nothing too exciting. I just needed some more like sweatshirts and stuff. So then the first little pair of pants that I got are some white flowy trousers and I really hope they look good because I think they're so cute. Then the second pair of pants are similar to the white ones. They're just more of a taupe color and they are just slightly shaped a little different. I feel like they'll be more kind of paper bag style on, but we'll see. So then I got these cute little trousers. They have a little cuffing at the bottom that I thought was really cute and they're kind of this like professional plaid pattern. So those are super cute too. Hello, it is Saturday night and I've come to realize that I've been bad about filming in the evening and also that I have an obsession with breakfast because this vlog has just been a series of breakfasts and then some morning time activities. So tonight I'm filming and my avocado pillows came in but not the mattress. The mattress, it looks like it won't get here till Monday. The shipping's a little bit confusing so we'll see. But it's like around 8 o'clock and I want to get a few things done. I have a lot that I want to get done, but I know if I get too ambitious, then I end up just not doing anything. So the things that I'm making myself do are my laundry. I also want to clean my bathroom and clean my makeup brushes. I haven't done that in a while. And I think it's just about time that I get it done. And then I think my bathroom, the makeup brushes and folding the laundry I think is all I need to get done tonight. I'm also trying to think because I really want to wash, oh wait, I'm not going to even bother to wash my bedding because I have all new bedding and if my mattress comes in in two days then it will have been stupid to have washed it. So before I jump into all the chores I want to show you what the sky looks like. Okay, so the sun has officially set, which is why I'm leaving the lighting 
like this. This is the best I could get it for now. But everything is so much cleaner in here. It looks still kind of like a mess, but everything's organized. So I'm going to walk you through what everything is. Okay, so this is obviously my chair and ottoman. And then there's my little cat. I should give her privacy. It looks like she's having a bath. But then this is all the little decoration pieces that I got that I'm going to use. But the desk and the chair, the little office chair are going. And I decided I'm going to keep the fridge and the Keurig, but I'm going to get rid of the microwave. I used the fridge for my jade roller, but I never really used the microwave and I really don't use the fridge for anything else. Then this all here is all of the bedding stuff that I'm going to be using for the queen mattress. But that actually took a lot longer than I expected. So I think all I'm going to do for the rest of the night is just wash my makeup brushes and then shower and go to bed. I wanted to show you what I do to clean my makeup brushes. I usually use dish soap because I know it like gets all the oil broken up. But then I couldn't find the little container that I use of it. So then I was like looking around for something I could use. And then I thought it would be a good idea to use like a cheap face wash because it would still break up all the oils, but it probably won't be as harsh as dish soap. So I'm gonna use this, and basically I get the water as hot as I can without burning my fingers, and then I get the brushes wet and I massage a little of this into it for a while, and then rinse it out, and then I just kind of rub them dry on a washcloth. And then to clean my makeup products, like in my bag, just to kind of get them all freshened up, I use just a baby wipe to wipe down anything that has excess makeup residue. Okay, so I just leave the brushes in their little container overnight to dry. And then for now, I put all of the clean makeup in this little tray, and I'm gonna put the makeup bag in the washer. <laughs> 